Hello guys. I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on in this video, what I was trying to accomplish, and the reasons for doing what I'm doing, uh, and showing showing you uh, the process of my drawing. Um, so this is for products, product design. Um, I'm texturing a pattern of succulents that's going to be applied on multiple different products. Uh, for example, a mug. Uh, you'll see some images a little bit further on in this video. Um, but that's the main goal. So I started off with uh, photography, um, just kind of walking down the street. Uh, with my girlfriend and we saw this wonderful little like it wasn't even a garden it was just a cluster of succulents that were under a tree right around along the base of a tree so I just kind of quickly snapped them with an iPhone and that's what you're looking at right now so I'm basically tracing that photography uh, from the image that I took while walking down the street. So it's pretty simple to find design, you know, anywhere. Um, and what's cool about this is once I cropped it in on it and once I clean up and um, do all the painting work that I need to do, it's going to flatten out and it should be able, I should be able to apply it on multiple products. Um, it's not just one product. It's not just slapping it on a mug but I think that a design such as this could really be kind of evergreen in that uh, it could be used in many different ways. Um, right now in the drawing, I am doing the outlining, which is probably the most tedious part of it because the lines need to be, they need to be beautiful lines. Even though I'm tracing, um, you can't just trace. They, they, you need to have good pressure, um, and just try to get like a very flowy type of drawing line, um, a gestural line. So there is a lot. You'll see me undoing a lot just to make sure that I get the right line. Um, but once this is complete, I can actually have two designs from this, as you can see in the video. There's going to be a white design where it's just these line drawings, and I think that looks really good on products. Um, it, it kind of provides a much more dainty feel to the design, a little bit more of a feminine quality. So even though I'm drawing succulents, one of the designs is going to be this kind of white line, um, hand-drawn line. In it, you know, I mean, I'm biased, but I think it's pretty beautiful. Um, it has kind of an elegant feel to it. Um, and the best part is I have two designs after I'm done with this process. Um, so from this one drawing, you know, I mean, it's I mean, it's really endless options, but I think at the end of the day, I'll probably end up with um, maybe around 10 to 15 products that this design can be placed on. Um, and it's it's not the it's not an incredible amount of work. Like I have been doing this for a long time. Um, I've been doing this. I've been drawing my entire life, but similar, like texture painting, doing texture patterns. I've been doing this for 20 years. Um, and I mean, I could crank these things out pretty fast, but this is about an hour drawing, um, an hour design basically. And, and it's a clean, and that, that includes cleanup, that includes balancing, iteration. Um, you can see on some of the, as I'm kind of flipping back and forth between the photography, you may, you may ask yourself, why even draw it? Why don't you just use the picture? I mean, I don't know. I, I think the drawing 
aspect of this really is where the appeal comes from. If I were to just slap the photograph on a mug, I don't know, I, I think it, you lose a lot of the appeal that one might otherwise have if they were to draw actually draw by hand and, and get that drawing hand-drawn character um i did experiment though with products with just slapping a photography slapping photography onto the product and you know it didn't look too bad um but i don't know i'm really trying to stick to the style so that there is uh, a cohesive look to everything in the shop um, so what that style includes is you, you, you're basically seeing my entire drawing process here. Um, it starts with an outline. Um, and the reason I do outlines is, I mean, it stems back to being a kid, uh, watching cartoons, um, animated cartoons. Everything has kind of like this outline to it. What, it's not always black outline, but that kind of traditional hand-drawn animation. The black outline um, does a lot of things, but it 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 really pops out de the important details. Um, it can provide silhouettes and so on. Uh, from there, I the, at this point in the drawing. Um, I'm adding the color uh, and I don't want to get too crazy. I, I think that's especially when one looks at the photography versus the painting that I ended up find, uh, ending up with. There's just so much contrast that gets left out of the actual painting so that the design can actually work on multiple uh, different products. So this is, this is a very important step to the design phase. Um, is this actual painting aspect to really bring the style uh the style of the brand really into the products well i really hope you enjoyed listening and watching uh, please like comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more thank you very much